In today's video, Islam Makachev gets challenged by a fan, Tony Ferguson reveals he's been asked to coach the Ultimate Fighter opposite Conor McGregor, Dylan Danis shares screenshots of DMs with Sean Strickland, Alex Pereira takes aim at Hamza Shimaev, Johnny Walker weighs in at 246 pounds just a few days after UFC 283, Bisping explains why Pereira doesn't deserve to fight Jamal Hill, and Benil Darius reveals UFC targeting May Clash vs Charles Oliveira. Islam Akachev is currently preparing for his upcoming fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, which is scheduled for UFC 284 on February 12th. It looks like preparation is going well as Makachev is having a lot of fun in between training. Tony Ferguson says he will be coaching the next season of The Ultimate Fighter against Conor McGregor. McGregor recently took to social media to announce he has been offered the opportunity to coach The Ultimate Fighter, but the opponent was not revealed. Immediately, many fans wondered if it would be Jorge Masvidal or Michael Chandler coaching opposite him. Yet, on Thursday, Ferguson took to Twitter and suggested he has been offered to coach The Ultimate Fighter against McGregor. He wrote, I've been asked to coach on The Ultimate Fighter against Old Fathead or anyone of my choosing if that cake eating some bish wouldn't show. Mac, what a vagina. Always ready, anytime, anywhere. I choose you, McNacker. Do you guys want to see Tony Ferguson coach the Ultimate Fighter against Conor McGregor? Do you have better ideas? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The man that's become the biggest troll in the MMA community, Dylan Danis, is back at it again. This time, he decided to troll UFC middleweight Sean Strickland. On Thursday, Dylan shared screenshots from his DMs with the UFC fighter. The conversation starts with Strickland writing, yeah man, but you still gotta look yourself in the mirror. Go read your comments. The whole world thinks you're a joke. You gotta look yourself in the mirror at night and know that most people on this planet dislike you. If you ever wanted to check out one day, well, no one would blame you for taking that way out. In a lot of societies, that is the honorable thing to do in your situation. To which Dennis replied, lick my balls, bitch. I'd literally hold you down and make you lick my arm. Strickland replied, yeah, sure Dylan, have a good one man, hopefully one day you take my advice, you know it's the right thing to do. Danis responded, you can't go around fighting people, not how life works, so I'm gonna have to handle you. You do know in a real fight, I'd take you down in probably 5 seconds. Strickland ended the conversation saying, sure man, you know where to find me, troll. UFC middleweight champion Alex Pereira has taken aim at welterweight contender Hamza Shimaev. During a recent interview with Inside Fighting, Pereira shared his thoughts on Shimaev saying, Well, he, Shimaev, mentioned a title defense, but it was right after my last fight, so I think it was kinda impossible. I called him out for a light heavyweight title fight, but I wasn't in a position to do either. I called him out anyway, just to see if he was up to it. I knew he didn't want the fight. A little while ago, he talked about fighting at middleweight and also at light heavyweight, so he's in the lower weight class, welterweight. But in his weight class, when he's maybe already the next title challenger, it's kinda like there are no plans for him to fight. He doesn't want to, because if he loses, like everyone can, if he loses in his own weight class, it ends all the noise he's making. So he's running from his own weight class because he's the next title challenger. On Sunday, Johnny Walker, who competes at light heavyweight, revealed that he weighed 107 kilograms during his recent fight at UFC 283 which is around 236 pounds. The, the strongest, tallest, and heaviest light heavyweight in UFC, my friend. After the fight, I sweat probably one kilo already. I fought 107 kilo. 
<laughs> Are you ready? Now, Walker once again weighed himself just a few days after the fight. The scale showed over 111.5 kilograms, which is 246 pounds, and 41 pounds over the 205 limit. Jerson, I think... <laughs> I think it's my hair. It's too heavy. Look at this size. It's very heavy, my hair. You see? That probably makes him the biggest light heavyweight in the UFC. With that weight, height, and frame, Walker could easily compete a heavyweight. Would you guys like to see him go up and compete against heavyweights? Let us know in the comments below. UFC middleweight champion Alex Pereira recently appeared in the comments section of Jamal Hill's latest Instagram post and issued a challenge to the newly crowned UFC light heavyweight champion. Speaking on the most recent episode of the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping shared his thoughts on a potential fight between the two champs and explained why Pereira should not be getting a total shot against Hill. Here's the clip. Listen, of course, and, and what's your take on this? And not necessarily Pereira, but champs, it's like the fashionable thing now. Everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to go up to the next weight class above and challenge because they've got nothing to lose and they get to be a part of this huge title fight and they have a chance of becoming a two-way division champion by and bypass all the other contenders, right? Mm -hmm. That's a super fight. It's a great thing to be involved with. But I don't feel, and this is nothing against Pereira, I don't feel he's in a position to be saying things like that when he's just won the belt. I feel you've got to be like a Volkanovsky. Or what some other, like, like, you know, DC, or, I mean, McGregor never won the belt. Uh, sorry, we defended the belt a bunch of times, but he was a mega star, to right. be fair. But generally, I think you've got to go out there and, and clean out the division before you start talking about that. So, like... Devil's Avocado, though. Devil, Devil's Avocado. If I'm Pereira, Jamal would be one of the perfect ones because, yes, sure. Jamal showed he can stop takedowns, but I don't think we're going to see him blasting doubles. He right. would stand there more than likely and, and, and fight Pereira on the feet. You know you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I think For that's sure. probably what we'd see. But the reality is Jamal just won the belt. Pereira just won the belt. Benil Darius might get his wish in facing a top contender like Charles Oliveira for his next octagon appearance. According to Darius, the UFC is in the preliminary stages of booking him a fight with Oliveira for later this year. He revealed the UFC is targeting a May bout with Oliveira during a recent interview with the Schmo. He said, can we do February? And then they said, yeah, okay, we will do February. February turned into March, March turned into April, and now they are talking about May. Darius also thinks because the UFC is targeting him and Charles for May, he'll be skipped over for a title shot with a win over Oliveira. I think I might get passed up again after I beat Oliveira. What I think could happen is, since we're waiting so long, they'll set up Islam with someone else or Volkanovski. I get the UFC is not a huge fan of me. I don't talk crap. I don't bring in the numbers. At least that's what they said. I wish I had the fight earlier. I would have loved to fight in March or April. Here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Zach. Second place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named I Mind My Own Business 18. And our top pick was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Three Foot Johnson. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.